<laughs> All right. Normally, when we cool, we, when we tour a cool house in our area, <laughs> it's for people. But this segment is going to be a little bit different. We're about to show you some spectacular custom houses for dogs and actually cat houses too. It's part of a fundraiser for a very good cause. Yeah, these are so unique and creative. We decided before they're auctioned off, you need to see them. Champagne wishes and caviar dreams, or in this case, kibble wishes and water bowl dreams, because these impressive houses are for dogs. Check out this pooch palace with a dome and columns, even a sign above the entrance advising people at the Fairmont Hotel where it's on display to let sleeping dogs lie. Next up, this whimsical doggy delight, a hydrant hoss. The inspiration, of course, something that has a natural attraction for dogs. It's dashing and bold and red and spacious inside. This is designed by Jeff Michelson from Desmond Architects, and it's sort of a cheeky version of the perfect doghouse, because what dog doesn't love a fire hydrant? Laura Sigismund, co-owner of Perlora Furniture and Designs, is our tour guide of these doggy dream homes, all created for a fundraiser Perlora is hosting called Barkitecture to raise money for animal friends. It's about cool dog houses, and we have amazing talent in Pittsburgh, so we asked local designers and architects to build the perfect place for our furry friends to live. And the designers did not disappoint. And animal friends had very strict rules as to what could constitute a dog house, cat house, and they have to all be indoors. Yeah, you heard her say cat house. That's right, cool cats out there. You have not been left out. A house, so to speak, for a cat. I told you that we don't discriminate. And uh, the woman who made this totally did all of the fiber by hand. I'm so this is screwing this up. That's for the scratching. And if this isn't big enough for your cat's needs, you know how they can be. A high maintenance feline would love this high rise kitty condo with all sorts of spots to hide. This is another one for cats designed by Moss Architects and it's really clever and creative because there's all sorts of nooks and crannies. Okay, we're going back to the dogs and this sleek uptown design. The hot hut looks like a piece of high end fur polished chrome, white oak, and marble. Hi, Coops. Hi, Coopy. For doggies with more traditional taste, how about these retro digs? Both roomy and bright with a wall of windows in the back, designed by Perlora team member Patty Frankhauser. And let's wrap up our real estate tour with something perfect for the dog who loves to lounge. It's called One Wolf. W-R-O-O-F, okay. and it is designed by Shelton and Associates. It has indoor-outdoor fabric, so when your pet would like to relax by the pool, this could be their cabana. Okay. Uh, it does have a pergola to hide it, keep the sun from going out. It goes out much further. In addition to the pull-out pergola, this canine cabana has little touches dogs with taste for the Lux life will enjoy. Yeah, oh doggies with special taste there. Yeah. yeah. So all these homes will be auctioned off to raise money for animal friends. Again, it's called Barkitecture. It is this Wednesday, the 22nd, in the evening at Perlora on mm. the south side. It's open to the public, or you can get your tickets online or at the door. And we have more info for you at PittsburghTodayLive.com. I don't know which one was my favorite, but I do know that my Aunt Joni would love the outdoor, indoor one for Bruno. For Bruno. So he can lounge by the pool. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's already lounging, right? Yeah, he'll, he'll on sit the lounge he, on the lounge chair. So if we have one specifically for him, it might be better. There you go. Just saying. All right.